how to create Wix art portfolio website is what I'm going to show in this video. Welcome everyone. We'll get right into the building of ourselves and creating our Wix art portfolio. First, we'll start off by going to wix.com. Now you'll be on this website. You can either sign in on the top right or get started using this blue button. If you have never used Wix, click get started. Try Wix. As you can see, try Wix, no credit card required. So this is all free. I'll on the other hand sign in because I've already used this website. Sign in and then as you can see here, you can even use your socials like Facebook and Google, even Apple. I'll log in using Google. There we go. This is very easy as you can see. Now we're logging in. For me, this is bringing me to my sites already. Don't want that. So I go to all sites. This is what you will see when you first start your Wix account and login. As you can see in the top right here, you can see all your account settings, domains, mailbox, vouchers, billing history, your current disc, uh, subscription, if you have one. I don't, but you can see under my sites and they're here, you can see all sites that I've created. This is not a site, this is just an offer. At the top, you can see my sites, which when you click, opens up this menu where you can navigate through all your websites, explore, help, and hire a professional. So you can even hire professionals to improve or make yourself a website from scratch. Now, what we're going to do is create an art portfolio website. We'll start off by create new site, the blue button in the top right, which will now load a new tab in our browser. And as you can see, this Wix makes it very easy for you. What kind of website are you creating? We'll say art portfolio. As you can see, there are different art portfolio templates. As you can see, makeup, art portfolio, culinary art portfolio, ceramic art. Let's just say we'll do a standard one, or you can even do digital one. Let's do a standard one, click next. Now, what do you want to add to your website? You can add a couple of things. The recommended ones would be a chat, an online store, forms, where you can get info, subscribers, payment with forms, and an Instagram feed to show your Instagram feed on your website. You can also uncheck all these, go to next and build it from scratch. That's what we're gonna do. Now, choose how to create your website. You can either do ADI, which is their uh, artificial intelligence, which will make the website for you. And you will just have to do some minor tweaks or create your website with the editor. This is the older version. This is the new version. Both will let you edit your, your website afterwards. But here on the right, you start with a template. On the left, you will get your complete done and dusted website. So we'll take edit a template. Now you're here, pick the website template you love, and we're under results for art portfolio. As you can see, these are all templates based on art portfolios. You can scroll through these and take a look at which one suits your art style the most. There are 29 different pages and you can just scroll through. I personally like this art gallery one, but all these look very, very professional as you can see. This is the benefit of Wix, honestly, that you can change so, so much and the templates are so professional. There's so many of them. So let's click edit for the art gallery one, edit. Now this will take some time because it has to load the editor. While it does that, we can go back. As you can see here, you can also click on view, which will open up the website template Let's say we want to look at artist one, click view. And here you can see in, in a larger picture, you can also click full demo, which will open up the website. As you can see, use this template as a starting point. But no, we don't want that. We want to look, take a look at the website itself. This would be how it looks. You can then have manufacturing and all these different pages on the left to navigate. Now, I think coming back to our editor, 
yes, we're there. Now, as you can see on the left, you have all these page options. And at the top, you can do different things like settings for your website, developer mode, hire a professional, all these things, site, you can save it and all this. Now, as you can see here, we're on the home page. We have the template includes an about, a past events, artists and contacts, and even more. Now, first thing we want to do is go to menus and pages. As you can see, there are a ton of pages in here. What we want to do is left click the three dots and delete all of them. Just so that we can just use the template and start from scratch. There we go, delete, delete, contact. Now, what you want to do is after you've done that, you're on the contacts page, which for some reason I couldn't delete. Click add, site, and you now want a starting page. Menus, add page at the bottom. And now you can add a blank page. Uh, an about page, services, projects, contact, general, landing page. Let's add a landing page, which will be our new home page that is first seen by people coming to our website. I honestly really like the first one. So click add page. Now it's adding our page. We're good to go. Landing page, rename it to home or welcome. Click done. Now this is called welcome. Drag it above the contacts one. Now this is the first one that will appear when you go to the website. And now you can change and individualize all this in here. Let's say we're coming soon. Change that by double clicking the text and change it to, I don't know, Lisa's art portfolio. Now we like this as our main title, but we can drag it up so it's visually more appealing. And as you can see this pink line in the center, this is to navigate it when dragging that it's centered. You can keep the cust uh, subscriber form here or drag it down a bit as well as the socials, drag it down. Because what we want to do now is add, by clicking add, the plus sign on the, on the left, an image, my uploads or image collection. For the sake of this video, we'll add Wix uh, image collection. Let's just do this guy and this guy, this girl, add pictures. As you can see, they are now centered and the collection is in the center. Now the next step would be to go to menus and then click add page again. And you now want a services or projects. I like the projects one more in order to have a specific page on your website that portrays your my art. There we go. Now this is an ex extra page to display all your art. Now this is called projects. I will rename it to my art. There you go. Now under here, you can see these pictures that you can change to your own and add a title of your picture and a description for it. I actually like this, the look of this pretty much. You can change this as this is a button that gives you back to the home page. Below that is a button that does the same thing. Now, if you like the look of your pages by going to the top left and clicking pages drag down, drop down menu, you can swap between all these sites 
my art and welcome. If you're good and you like the look of your page, you can click save, even though auto save is on. What you now want to do is your site is saved. When you publish the following will be your domain. Click change and name it Lisa's art portfolio. It's available, click tick. And now this will be the website name. Click done. Now publish in the top right. You're now publishing it. Congratulations, your site is published and live online. Click visit site. Now you can see this is still the homepage for some reason, but on the right here, you can open this up. Click welcome. This is our welcome page as we did. We added our photos. We can go back, go to my art. And as you can see, my art page with all the project names or your art name, its description and the picture itself. Now, what you can do is go back to the editor, cancel, and now this is the editor. And you want to go back to your site, to your main login which will then, after reloading it, show you my site and HDG test, which was the first website I had. Under my sites, you can still see them here. And now all you gotta do is click select and edit site, which will get you to the dashboard of this website. And the dashboard of this website will let you do way, way, way more important things. As you can see, there's home, contacts, communication, CRM tools, marketing and SEO, analytics and reports, finances, channels, settings, apps, content manager and developer tools on the left, which you can still individualize and change in order for your website to be ranking higher in Google and getting more traction this way. You can connect the domain over here. You can get found on Google, which this will lead you through step by step. You can have a role to other people that, for example, are in your company or help you do your uh, managing your marketing as a artist, you can then invite people. Here you go, invite them and give them roles like admin, which is the highest role. Website manager has access to manage, edit, publish, cannot manage billing, delete, duplicate or transfer site. So these have all different uh, powers. You can even create your own role to fit the person that you invite. Now that's all you got to do to create yourself a Wix art portfolio website. I hope I could help you out. If I did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Bye.